guys this is Pam and today's video is going to be my five recommendations for women for winter although these fragrances are all unisex it really depends on you what your heart desires wear what you want to wear um, also it doesn't really matter what time of the year it is whatever you perfume you want to wear go ahead and wear it although during the colder months we do tend to wear i mean we do tend to lean towards fragrances that are cozy and warm um and dense and i believe that these five fragrances i have uh, here all fall into that category um so what i have here is, is going to be in no particular order although i'm gonna leave my favorite out of the five for for right now um, at the very last so let's go ahead and get started with the first one and that is by the house of Dior and that is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum okay so this perfume is has a rose in it it's a very dense definitely um, cozy like to me the type of rose it, it's not it doesn't scream rose okay but like to me i do get a lot of rose but if you are somebody who does not like rose please don't be you know don't be afraid try this one if you have not done so oh, i just made a huge spray okay and this to me has that kind of honey nectar it's very sweet, but not in a cloying way. Like, like it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very pretty, very pretty rose honey. Um, it's got patchouli in it, but it's just enough to counter that sweetness. It's a very nice perfume for especially when it's cold i have worn this in the hot and humid we weather it still was very nice but it can kind of get suffocating so i think this perfume blossoms well right now when it's cold and kind of dry because this is kind of like a sticky honey rose um, perfume with patchouli to kind of tone down that sweet nectar honey sweetness it is a very good perfume this is my favorite um, amongst the Miss Dior flankers just the old school Miss Dior Eau de Parfum these are not necessarily the best so I'm not claiming that these are the best ones but to me this is just my top five recommendations that I have in my collection so that's number one Miss Dior Eau de Parfum my second one is from the house of Tom Ford and that is let me see if it will focus that is a black orchid parfum so this is the new release for 2020 and actually, I like this better than the Eau de Parfum. So this is the Parfum, ver parfum version. It's more concentrated, I guess. So what I like about the, this version, it's really hard to explain. I guess it's got more of that plum note. It has that brightness. The, uh, there is more brightness. The Eau de Parfum to me, is a little bit more earthy so I guess it depends on what, what, what you like what your preference because some people may like that earthiness but it's very 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 much similar to the first one to the I mean Eau de Parfum this to me just has more of that brightness oh it's very spicy floral you definitely get a lot of that orchid and um, truffles. It's a very dark 
But I would actually say because the other perfume has more earthiness to it that that one tends to be darker. But on the skin though, on the skin versus on paper, this one, the perfume is darker. Like it's denser, it's darker. Um, it's a little bitter once on the skin than on the paper. It, this definitely, you don't have, I think three sprays at the most, you're good to go. It lasts very long. Um, it depends on your chemistry. Like on my skin, it goes really, really well on my skin. I love it. Oh, it has some kind of like an addictive factor to it. Like I remember the first time I tried this on a strip, I came home, I went to Sephora, I tested it and I came home with a test strip. I could not stop smelling it. And I knew right there and then that I had to order a full bottle. This is a very, I don't know, sophisticated, classy, um, bossy kind of scent. Like you are somebody who knows what you're doing. Like you know exactly what you want when you wear this perfume. And definitely a man can wear this without a doubt. You know, somebody with like dark hair, um, with a suit on, like a black suit. Mm. And the dry down, you get more of the truffles. The opening has a lot of plum, but it, to me, it stays the whole time. The, the plum note, oh my goodness, I'm dropping my paper. Anyway, that's my second recommendation for winter. This is a beast of a perfume. So be careful with your sprays. But this is my favorite um, in comparison to the Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette. I love this one. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with the third one. And this is by the House of Lancome. And this is Tuberus Castan. Let's see, there it is. Tiberius Gaston, and that's the side. Okay, so this is a gourmand floral perfume that's definitely well suited for the cold weather. Although I think that this is also very nice, even when it's not as cold, maybe like fall and spring. This is, Oh my goodness. The the, the tuberose in this and this perfume it doesn't scream tuberose. Like you know what I mean? Like it doesn't scream white floral. It's kinda like if you cook something on the pot. You know, like it, it's kinda like fresh strawberry berries versus if you cook strawberries on the pot with some sugar. Like it smells very different. You still get that strawberry smell, but not like fresh strawberries when it's bright and juicy. So this tuberose to me is more of like, it's wilted, you know, like it's been cooked in the pot, in the pot. And you definitely get that nuttiness. It's sweet but not cloyingly sweet. Um, the dry down on this one gets very powdery and dusty, at least on my skin. So that's the only thing though, not that I'm against it. Um, I just wish it's a little bit less powdery, like, like, like to me on my, on, on my taste for this particular blend. I wish it's less powdery and dusty on the dry down. Other than that, it's a beautiful, beautiful tuberose perfume. One of the best I have ever smelled. I highly recommend it. Um, it's intoxicating. It's a very dense. Um, even if you're not into white florals, this perfume is just so well done. It's almost like a dessert. It's almost like a... I don't know how to explain it. Like you, like it makes you want to wear a sweater, um, and a, and a scarf, maybe some mittens. That kind of uh, 
feel. That's, what, that's the vibe that it's giving. It's very enveloping, cozy. That is my number three recommendation. And that is from the House of Lacan, Tuberus Castan. All right, now we are on the fourth one. I have actually reviewed this particular fragrance. I will link it in the description box if you're interested. And this is by the house of Frederick Mal. And this is Musk Ravageur. Okay, so if you haven't seen my review yet of Musk Ravageur, and if you're used to designer Musk, it's not, it's not this one, okay? It's not what you expect. If, you, if, you're, if you're somebody who's used to designer musky perfume, this is not that type of musk that you will be expecting. Musk Ravageur is very, it's spicy in the opening. Um, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Just very round and dense and fluffy. You get that that musk um, in a very natural, animalic, but not skanky way. It's animalic, not skanky. It's more like um, like an aphrodisiac. It's like it's hard to get used to. I keep hitting my ring on the table. I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's gotta be irritating. I'm gonna stop it. So this. Again, it's very cozy, enveloping, very fluffy, dense. Um, on the very dry down, like, like to me, there's not much difference from the opening to the dry down. It's just less spicy in the dry down. In comparison to the opening, you get more of that density, that fluffiness, um, that kind of like a cloud texture. If you if you imagine a cloud, um, that's very full. It's sweet, but not cloyingly sweet. It's not sweet like Miss Dior. Um, this one is more of like, I don't know, like eating some sort of dessert, but not, because you know, sometimes there are types of dessert that you eat it and you're like, you're done because it was so sweet. But this one is just the right amount of sweetness that you want more and more and more. And oh my goodness, on the skin, Oh, it's it's heaven. Okay, it's, it's just watch my review. Um, if you're interested, I'm gonna leave it on the in the description box. That is Mousse Gravageur by Frederick Mal. And actually, my husband wears this too, and it's just beautiful, beautiful. The tonka bean in the dry down is just the right amount of uh, texture. It gives the right amount of texture. I love it. Okay, that's my number four and for my number five. And this is my favorite right now amongst the five. And that is by the house of Killian. And it is Rose Oud. Look at that beautiful bottle. Okay, so this has a very simple notes. And to me, this is the thinner like if we, if we could say all the four here are thick, this is thin in comparison to the four. But it still, it still performs really well. This is basically what the name implies, rose and oud. But to me, the type of rose is like a fruity, juicy rose. If, if you can think of, of like, if you can imagine if there's such a thing as a rose fruit, So to me, that's what it is. And I, what I love about this perfume is that there is that oh, perfect balance of the oud and the rose. Because sometimes you get like an oud perfume and you don't get enough oud. And it's somewhat frustrating. You, you're you getting an oud perfume and then like there's not enough oud. And then sometimes there is that like really, really strong oud that after a while, okay, you're done with it. That, that's like a whole bunch of oud in there. Um, this perfume though, to me, it's just the perfect balance. You smell the, the juicy, 
fruity rose all throughout. Same thing as the oud, but the more it dissipates, um, the more the alcohol dissipates in the opening. As you approach that mid and dry down, you get more and more of that oud. That's somewhat peppery. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, it's clean. So the, like to me, it's more, oh, I hit my ring again on the table. To me, this is perfect for, I don't know, like a ball, like a date night, but you're gonna be dancing on the dance floor, but not like club. It's more of like ballroom, you know, like um, dancing foxtrot or something, something like that. When you're wearing like a ball gown. Um, for a man too, when he's wearing that nice black suit and tie with his hair um, super brushed up with a pomade or like a really gel, really nice gel, that's what I can think of. Like the lights of the chandelier and such, candle lights. It's so beautiful. Both men and women definitely can pull this off. Wonderful, wonderful fragrance. And that is once again Rose Oud by the house of Killian. There it is. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Once again, these are my top five recommendations for winter from my collection. And I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe now. And if you enjoy this review, this list, please give me a thumbs up. And once again, feel free to comment down below. And that's it for today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.